This product review brought to you by USA Digital Media. Now offering the same high quality poster prints at a new lower price. Take a look online at usadm.net. So uh, that's the actual box with it in. Mm, oh, there it is. Oh, that looks really cool. Really cool. I like the uh, red and everything. As you guys know, I am a big fan of red. <laughs> What's crack a ya prestigious viewers? Sorry to pop here again, but this time I'll be talking about something completely different. Yep, prestigious reviews is now introducing product reviews. And first up, we have a Hello Kitty pillow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. The first installment is about my ATI Radeon uh, 5670 graphics card. Will this card handle what you demand? Let's dive on in and find out. First off, you guys need to give your part by checking out our sponsors. They help us make as many reviews as we do, so give them a little boost too! Moving on, I'll tell you guys the requirements of this card before I talk about what this thing does very well and where it can't hold its own weight on. To start off, you must have a PCI Express compliant motherboard with an X16 graphics slot. Now if your computer was made within like 4 years or so, you should be just fine, but you might want to still check out the, you know, crack it open and everything, make sure the slot's fine. Uh, if you google like X16 graphics slot, You'll see it, or if you even go to like amd.com or something. But if your computer isn't too old, it'll probably have it. Next, your power supply has to have at least 400 watts. And if you want to hook up two of these babies together, which you can do by the way to improve your performance even more, you have to have at least a 500 watt PSU and two of those X16 slots, obviously. And for the less ticky of you, uh, if you open up your desktop and you look at the top box in the back, right where the power cord's coming into, It'll have a sticker on it with the rated wattage of it. It should show the rated wattage as output. The input, like what it'll be, it'll pretty much be the same on every one of us. But uh, the output, that's how many uh, watts uh, your computer will be getting from it. And then uh, it also, um, your computer will also have at least, uh, will need to have at least one gigabyte of RAM. So make sure you have that. Most people will have that, but you still want to make sure. And just so you cats know, the ports of this card are one DVI, one full-size HDMI, and then a display port. Now, if your monitor requires VGA, you'll have to get one of those VGA to DVI connectors. I don't believe this card comes with one, so uh, you will have to buy that. But I mean, like you can find them on Amazon for like two dollars, pretty cheap, not a really big deal. But this allows you to hook up to three monitors to this one card. <laughs> Talk about kick-ass, a. Eh? Now let's move on to the pros of this fucking epic card. Let's start off with the price. If you head on over to Amazon, this card is right around $90. That might sound a bit pricey, but trust me, that is so cheap for a nice graphics card like this one. You can easily pay like more than $200 for a card that is just barely better than this one. This is really a great price, awesome, awesome, thanks ATI. When you first get this puppy, you have to get the drivers for it. Most of us already know this, as many of the components on our computers do require this. Well, ATI made this task easy as shit. Head on over to amd.com, and it's right there on the homepage. It's right there on the right of the homepage. And with these drivers installed, I've never had this card stop responding on me, which really happens on a lot of the shittier, uh, cheaper cards. So, really, really great. Finishing up this really awesome list of positives, this card plays games like a fucking champ. I can play Battlefield 3 in 1080p with no lag at all. Absolutely fucking beautiful. And you're probably wondering, what did Windows 7 score this card? On my system, the 5670 got a 7.0 for gaming and gaming graphics. That is a fucking crazy score, especially for 90 bucks. My fucking Nvidia card that costed $170 got a 7.3 on both. Wow. That's half the price, basically the same score. Awesome. That is amazing. But of course! With everything, there are cons. This card does have some issues while using fraps whenever you're playing games. It's not awful, but it does lack a bit in those occasions. And this card doesn't run Sony Vegas perfectly. It does run it pretty decently. I can edit pretty fine on it. But whenever you turn up the quality, the frame rate just goes fucking down like crazy. If you use Vegas, you'll have to keep the settings on preview, or you'll just fucking start losing frames. Eh, kinda sucks. So, with all that said, is a 5670 a card you should pick up or skip? I'd say without a doubt, this is a terrific purchase. The DDR5 makes a huge difference in this card. Huge! And if you're trying to get into some crazy shit, I'd say spend a little bit more money, 
But for most of us, this will satisfy you without any problems. Gaming, editing, it really does work pretty great. Drum roll! Let me just walk over to my rock band sound drum. Okay, I gave the ATI Radeon 5670 an 8.5 out of 10. The price is great and it performs like a fucking dream. It's a really great budget card, but like I said, if you're gonna do, be doing some really intense shit on your computer, I would invest a little bit more cash hold on. Well, I hope you guys found this either helpful or enjoyable. This is our first product review of Prestigious, so I hope it was up to your expectations. I'm sure quite a few things are different, like the graphics and uh, not, not the gameplay throughout the whole thing. So, uh, still hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you did, be sure to come back uh, quite a bit. This, this week, uh, oh god, this week, uh, let's see, this review. And then a movie review. Uh, should I just tell you guys? I guess I will. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Hangover Part 2. And then I'm also working on Resistance 3. So that's pretty cool. So be sure to come back very frequently. As this week there might be three from me. And uh, three from me. Wow, that rhymed. Okay. Uh, and then one from Nemo might come out. You know, never know with Ridley Nemo. Yeah, he kind of gets tied into some other shit. Ah, Call of Duty. Uh, so uh, until next time, live prestigiously, mofos. To start off, you must have a PCI uh, Express. Ah, shit. Fuck this. Bullshit. To start off, you must have a PCI Express compliant motherboard. God damn, I'm spitting everywhere. This is bullshit. Bullshit. This allows you to hook up. Uh, hook. <laughs> hook up. Hook up to. Ah, shit. 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 Ooh. And if you're uh, if you're a monitor, we're uh. Damn, I'm having a fucking derp session on this shit. <laughs>